Hey, this is Lotus Comic Express. We're here live with Alan Trotman, which is a puppeteer off of Dinosaurs. And he, he did Fran Guys off of Dinosaurs. He's worked in the Muppets. And most importantly, he was in Return of the Living Dead as the actual coordinator puppeteer for that. Guys, this is awesome. I mean, Alan Trotman here at Texas Frightmare. Who would imagine that? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> so get, getting right down to it, yeah. you know, how did you get into puppeteering, sir? Uh, I was in uh, college, and uh, I was I had just decided to um, uh, become a, an acting major yeah. and pursue acting, and I was looking for uh, professional work in town while I was going to school to help out and pay the bills and the very first thing I looked at was a, uh, a PBS series well it was actually it wasn't PBS back then but it was the local I public TV that, station actually, yeah there's a show called uh, the letter people I vaguely remember that How about yeah. that <laughs> uh, this must have been like 1973 or something yeah. like that and uh, they were reruns, willing to but yeah, yeah. They uh, they were looking for people who could do voices, and they were willing to train them as puppeteers. And I went into audition, and I kind of discovered that I could do puppets at the audition. <laughs> that's awesome. And I, you know, learned on the job, and uh, that's that was my first uh, professional puppeteering work. So did you um, did you actually get to do any voices on the Muppets or dinosaurs? Or oh anything, yeah, yeah. Anything like, anything uh, like that? When with the Jim Henson Company, we prefer to do the complete character, the voice and puppet, because that's it's the best way to, to create a, a character. If you do Very a piecemeal, cool. it doesn't. Uh, it's harder to be as spontaneous and. That and, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what so voices did, did you actually do for the Muppets? Um, so let's see. Uh, on dinosaurs, for example, yeah. um, I was uh, Mr. Pullman, the science teacher. Now, Charlene, if you sit down, that guy. Um, and I was. Uh, oh, if you saw the. Um, uh, whenever they watch TV, they would see a show called Ask Mr. Lizard, the yeah, science of show. Yeah, and I was Mr. Lizard. Oh, we're going to need another Timmy. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, characters like that. And then yeah. there were just a whole slew of other characters that were on once or twice, you know, one week, and then the next week it was a bunch of different characters, you of know. Of course. All the subsidiary characters. So, I would be doing other voices on that all the time. It that was is just awesome. A lot of man. fun. Yeah. That was a tremendous amount of fun. Now, I puppeteered Fran. Yeah. That was one of those cases where, for the leads, ABC and Disney wanted uh, name voice performers. Sure. So uh, Jessica Walter came in after we filmed it and uh, revoiced Fran okay. for okay. the final thing. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, the baby was my favorite. Yeah. You know, not the mama. Right. You know? and, and that's amazing, which is... He was one of my favorite characters in Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. That's what everybody remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Not the mama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, 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 see, that is awesome. Because, I mean, Dinosaurs was kind of kind of related me back to, like, watching the Muppets, you know. Sure, Fraggle sure. Rock, you know. I mean, yeah. same thing. Did you have any uh, parts to do with Fraggle Rock? Not with anything? Fraggle Rock. The first, I didn't start working with the Henson Company until um, 1990. Okay. The first thing I did was the uh, 3D movie, the Muppet Vision 3D. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, that was the very first thing I did. And then the very next thing I did was Dinosaurs. <laughs> that is awesome. So it worked out pretty good. Now, do you have uh, any cool experiences or course, uh, cool uh, stories, maybe, that you're able to share with us about working at, on the dinosaur sets? Or oh, Muppet wow. Or anything? Uh, boy, there's all sorts of cool stuff. But... Uh, I, uh, my main memory from Dinosaurs, apart from it being a tremendous amount of fun, and, you know, we couldn't wait to get the scripts each week because yeah. the stories were just so great. They were. Uh, there's a such elaborate. intelligent, yeah, really intelligent script yeah. um, that we were able to tackle such interesting uh, social issues in a, in a forum like this. Uh, was just uh, amazing. But our production schedule was pretty intensive. Uh, we worked 12, 13 hours a day, and so we had to have a 12-hour turnaround. Right. And so we'd come in at 7 o'clock on Monday morning, and then we'd work till 8 o'clock. We'd come in at 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning, work till 9 o'clock. And so the, it's, by the time we got to Friday, we right. were there till you know, 2 a.m. sometimes trying to finish off the show. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, uh, I that bet just, that's pretty tiring, though, you know? It was tiring. We spent a lot of time there, but uh, it was a very rewarding experience. I bet. 
Yeah. I bet. I mean, working for Jim Henson, the Muppet Studios themselves. I mean, that's got to be rewarding. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. By far. Uh, Muppets Tonight was a TV series I worked on. That was a lot of fun. We yeah. got to work with a lot of great uh, uh, guest stars on that. And um, uh, it was always something new. You know, it had that great Muppet feel to it. Right. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts or any opinions about the, the new Muppet series that's on ABC? Um, not really. Uh, I'm not involved in that one. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, once um, Disney purchased uh, the Muppets, yeah. uh, I'm, I, don't, I haven't been doing as much work with the Muppets. So most Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, I know. Me too. I, I would love to. But, you know, I'm working over at the, the I do a lot of work with the, the Jim Henson Company still now. Right. Uh, they're still producing things and there's still cool. lots of stuff going over, on over there. So um, the reason know. I ask is because it's, you know you know watching the traditional Muppet Show yeah is very different than the reality TV show that they have out now. Oh yeah, it's very the different. The semantics is different. The dynamics different. So I thought I'd ask your opinion on, on that. Yeah. Well, look, you know, I think it's important to uh, try new things. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great experiment. Whether it succeeds or fails yeah. is is a matter for individual people to, I would to decide, you know, and I, I think any time we have puppets on TV, <laughs> oh yeah, puppets working is a good thing for, would, for puppetry in general. I would agree with you, you know? personally. Yeah. Because it, it, li it brings out the inner child in people. Well, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's great that and way. And it brings back childhood memories, yeah. you know, the whole dynamic of that, Yeah. you know. And I was going to also ask you, since you've been a puppeteer on anywhere from like Return of the Living Dead to the Muppets to the you know any puppeteer type of work for how many years it's uh, been? Well, it's been well it's since say, '73. Well, yeah, I mean you, you've worked for a, you know being a puppeteer for quite, a, quite, yeah. quite some time since at least as as far as my memory is concerned. I mean, Return of the Living Dead, you know. Well, yeah, that that wasn't actually done as a puppet job. I didn't have anything to do with the uh, with coordinating puppets on that. But, uh, but you've been in the business for a long yes, time. Yes. As far as being a puppet, dude, yes. That's what I mean. Oh yeah. So as far as that goes, like, do you have any new advice or advice in general that you know just from the experience that you have uh, for the new people that are just now coming into film? Yeah. Just now becoming maybe puppeteer. I um yeah I met a number of uh, the new newest crop of uh, puppeteers yeah. uh, not too long ago. It was last summer. Um, I also for the for the Jim Henson Company. I teach the uh, puppetry uh, technique. That's awesome. uh, For new puppeteers, I you know sort of take them through what it means to be a Henson puppeteer and what it the things we look for and the, the yeah. types of drills we do and all of that. And we had a uh, a workshop last summer. For new puppeteers and it was just so inspiring to see this group of people some of whom who wanted who have been puppeteers for a long time and have sure. just never had a chance to work with the henson company others who had been like improvisers and, and uh, other types of comedians who wanted to uh, learn how to be puppeteers yeah and there's those two camps all trying to work together to to uh, become a an entire package so to speak that makes sense and it's uh, it was great to work with them. Um, it's a totally different landscape now than when I was coming up. Obviously, sure. Uh, the best thing to do if you're really interested is is whatever it takes just to find a way to do it. To actually get a monitor, get some, get a good puppet with good eye focus, yeah, and drill yourself in front of the camera until what you do looks like what you judge to be good puppetry on screen looks I would like. agree with you, yeah. That, I mean, that makes sense to what you're saying. Yeah. Now and then now, nowadays, anybody can put their videos up on YouTube also. That's so true. it's easy enough to, uh, you know, produce your own stuff. Right. And um, uh, the next time we have a workshop, all of that material will be there for us to look at, and we'll, we'll look at that. So would you say it's any different than... I mean, what's true to my heart, because I love the Muppets so much, was Jim Henson. Oh, yeah. And he was such a, a kind, sweet man with what he was trying to put out and publish and just put out to the world, you know. What, is there any cool Jim Henson stories that you can give us? Well, um, the, uh, the, I remember the one time I worked on um, uh, the uh, 3D movie. That yeah. was the, the only one I worked on directly with Jim. And... Uh, there, this was the uh, the uh, finale of the 3D movie where there's all of those like marching soldiers and yeah. chaos and everything, 
And there was one shot, I remember, where a bunch of soldiers were lined up and there was a cannon there that fires. It was like the, the yeah. very beginning of the song. And in that line, and this was like the first time I worked with these people, sure. who I had admired as Muppet performers for a long time. Yeah. It was, you know, Dave Goles and Steve Whitmire. And this cannon goes off, and I'm standing like right next to the cannon. And I, I say to Steve, he says, Steve, shouldn't, shouldn't I react or something? This cannon's going off right in my ear. Shouldn't we jump or something? He goes, well, that's a really good idea. So he calls Jim over. Yeah. Uh, this shows you how, how, what attention to detail they give to this, because every little tiny thing was, was, was talked, with, uh, uh, talked about with Jim. And uh, Steve, first of all, was, was kind enough to, to credit me with the idea. That's awesome. <laughs> so Alan here came up with a, a great idea that when the, when the uh, cannon goes off, he should jump. He, and Jim goes, oh, yeah, it's a really great idea. Uh, Steve, why don't you stand next to the cannon and do that? <laughs> 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 so that taught me a very, very interesting lesson, which yeah. is uh, something that Jim always did was you always put your best people forward first and to make sure it's done right the first time. It's a good lesson. You know, I was an unknown quantity. I had a good idea, but he knew Steve would deliver it because he didn't yeah. know me then, you know. That makes sense. Yeah. So, but um, uh, it, was a, it was a great, great first experience to work with Jim. That's awesome. Yeah. I and mean, that had to be an, absolutely an honor working with Jim Henson, yeah, you know, it was. back in the day when he was still doing what he used to do you know as ah man and I, I love the fact that you know he put all of his heart with what he did I mean that was so the, such the amazing part about Jim Henson mm -hmm. but I, I do realize you don't have a lot of time and I, I really want to say thank you so much for coming out this weekend my pleasure absolutely an honor sir come uh, come check out this guy he's <laughs> awesome man <laughs> Alan Help Alan that. Troutman. Let me try that again. You can go to alantroutman.com, and that has all my information. Let me try that one more time. All right. Come check out Alan Troutman. <laughs> I, I am so nervous, guys, because <laughs> this guy is amazing with what he does as puppetry. And, yeah, come check out Alan Troutman. Uh, do we have a website that we can actually yeah, check uh, out? Yeah, my name is A-L-L-A-N-T-R-A-U-T-M-A-N. So it's alantroutman.com is my website, or Twitter, at, at Alan Troutman. So. See, I've been excited to meet this guy all weekend long. We've been super busy at Texas Redmere. But Mr. Troutman's amazing, guys. Come check him out. And come check him out at lotuscomics.com, and we'll see you here real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.